Friends, welcome to our homestead and welcome inside of our solar room. Today, I'm going to be talking about and comparing server rack style batteries and wall mount style batteries. And honestly, I'm really torn between the two. You might think they're all just batteries, but there are differences between them. So I'm here to share my experience in hopes that it helps you make your decision. And all of the ones that I recommend, I will leave links to in the description below the video with some discount codes for you. Besides these two types of batteries, I've also got a third battery that I'm gonna show you toward the end of the video. It's unique and it might fit your situation better. Let's first talk about the server rack style batteries. I've had these for years. This is what I originally started with in my system and they work fantastically. As you can see, I've got different batteries here. This is a newer EG4 LLS, and this one is a newer Life Power 4 battery from EG4. And the original batteries that I purchased were the version one LL batteries from EG4. Here's the biggest pro for server rack style batteries. You can just buy one or two to start your system, and that's exactly what I did because I didn't have a lot of money when I started my system, but you can build that up over time. So I started with three of the version one LLs and I eventually ended up with 10 of them. As I saved up, I bought another battery and then I bought another one and then I bought another one and continued to expand my system. That was really helpful for us. These batteries are designed to be stacked on top of each other inside of a cabinet, but you can put them on the floor in different configurations. So if you are limited on space, you can configure them in a few different ways to help you out. However, in any way you organize these, they do take up a lot of space. So the dimensions of these batteries is about 19 inches by 19 inches. Once you add the cabinet in there, it becomes 24 by 27, which is a really large piece of equipment and it is extremely heavy. Actually for the large rack, it's 700 pounds with all of the batteries stacked inside of it. Now that we're talking about size and weight, these compared to a wall mount style battery are a lot easier to move around. Each battery weighs a little over 100 pounds and you can see these are up on this refrigerator. It wasn't that difficult for me to get them up there. However, these wall mount batteries are 280 pounds a piece and you have to have two people to move these around. Although once they're on the ground and set, you can kind of walk them into place and that's what I did here. But if you are going up any steps or down any steps, you have to have the right people and the right equipment to move them around. And that's one thing I would say is a real challenge with these is the weight. But as you can see, I've saved a ton of floor space. If you've seen my other videos, you've seen the big stack of the server rack style batteries in this corner, and it is very large. These are way more compact, and now I have a ton more room to move around in here now that that big server rack style cabinet is out of that corner. So I think it's best if I continue to talk back and forth between the two batteries because there are pros and cons for each of them and I'm still honestly torn between the two. Each one of these EG4 wall mount batteries is almost equivalent to three of the server rack style batteries. Three of those equal 15.3 kilowatt hours and one of these is 14.3 kilowatt hours. But here's the challenge friends. If I ever have trouble with one of these batteries, I'm essentially taking three batteries out of my entire system and waiting for that to be repaired. If you have the server rack style batteries and one of them has an issue, you can take one out of the system. So instead of taking 14.3 kilowatts out of your system waiting for a potential repair, you are taking only 5.1 kilowatts out of your system at any one time. After testing these for a little while now, I've had absolutely zero problems with them, so I'm not really worried about it. But that might be of concern or interest to you. Okay, let's talk about the cost comparison between the two for a moment. The indoor wall mount battery is $3,299. The version two Life Power server rack style battery is $1,199. So if you multiply that by three, which is equivalent to this, you're gonna be at 3,600 bucks. Of course, you can use my coupon code below and get 50 bucks off each. Now, if you get the three server rack style batteries, you are going to probably need a cabinet for it. Now, it's not 100% necessary that you buy the cabinet for these, 
but a small cabinet I think is around $400. So you're gonna to need to add that cost in there. If you decided not to buy the cabinet, you would need to connect these to an external bus bar. So you need to factor that cost in. Something that's also unique to the Server X style batteries is that you can get them in 12, 24, and 48 volt, where the wall mount battery is only 48 volt. So that might be something that's important to you for your system. Friends, I'm still extremely torn between these two, and I'm gonna talk about that third battery in just a moment, but I love saving space in here. There is so much more room in this space that I can move around and do other things in here. These are tucked against the wall, and that is absolutely fantastic. I'm loving it. And I'm not saying that I'm ever gonna have a problem with these, but if I did, I'd have to remove one entire battery, which is extremely heavy, instead of just sliding one of these out of a rack. Now let's check out that third battery. And that's this thing right here. This is kind of hiding in the bottom corner of the room. This is a big battery brand Mustang. It's a 48 volt, seven kilowatt hour battery. So the capacity is about one and a half times bigger than one of the server rack style batteries and you can see its shape is unique. So it gives you the opportunity to fit it into some unique spaces. Now this battery is a little bit more simple. They don't have communications and they do not communicate with the EG4 inverters that I do have, but that's not a big deal. You've still got that extra capacity and you can see it's just tucked away in the bottom corner of the room right here. The cool thing about the big battery brand is they have a lot of different unique shapes. This one was originally designed to fit under a golf cart seat. Signature Solar does carry these now, but I'll leave several links for them in the description below the video. And what's cool is if you have a mobile application like an RV, you can configure these to fit in that space a little bit better. For us, this just sits behind a shelf, which is normally here. I moved it out of the way for the video. This just connects to the system and adds that extra capacity. Friends, I hope I've given good information on the pros and cons of each one of these batteries and that it helps you make your decision. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comment section below. Now go check out this video right here, which is the installation video for this EG4 12,000 XP off-grid inverter. Have a beautiful blessed day. We'll see you next time.